<laughs> All right, so we're going to class this one as a custom DIY budget boat loader on our uh, Colorado here. All in, I think we're about 400 bucks. Cost us 200 bucks of powder coating. So we're working with a, a Stessel 380 HD, 3.8 meters long. Uh, it's probably about as long as you want to go for a rooftop tinny. And uh, we'll show you in a minute why. Oh, well, well, let's get into it. All right, so we'll go through how we tie it down now. We use straps as well and turnbuckles here. I um, wouldn't use straps solely because they do wear through. Sharp edges up there. Chains, shackles, turnbuckles can't come off that way. If the straps do fail, definitely need both for this particular tinny because it is quite heavy. And we have noticed when going over wombat holes, if it's just one or the other, straps or the turnbuckle, that does slide from side to side. Two tie down system stops it from sliding around. about 400 bucks, not including the winch obviously, which we do use for this setup and the bull bar. Taking all the tie downs off, we'll, uh, we'll get the winch set up now. So, uh, we made this little bracket up here, three mil aluminium. I'll just uh, slide this over the bull bar so the winch rope has something to, to glide over. Um, and it doesn't strip the powder coating off the bull bar. And it just gives the winch rope some nice smooth edges to go over. Just bolts on the U bolts. A bit of carpet behind so it doesn't rub. And I do these up finger tight. They don't need to be done up overly tight. In the back, eh? uh, so for the back bit we uh, put the hangers on. Just some wire hooked up to some snap hooks. So these go onto the back here, like so. So all these do is um, pretty much stop it from falling too quick and they take the weight once it gets down low so the boat's not scraping on the ground and it just gives it a linkage point to go over. Uh, yeah, if you didn't have these on, it would, the boat would come down and just hit the ground pretty much. It would roll over on the ground. You don't want to scrape your boat up. This important piece here is so the boat doesn't hit your vehicle. Goes into your tow tongue and your boat comes down on that. Frame's made up out of 25 by 50 by 2, this bottom section. Um, already had this section here from another trip we did up the Cape. I just added these on, which is just 50 by 50 by 3. I have cut the middle bit out on this section so we can leave the seats on. Uh, we're just using Teflon, Teflon sliders. You can use rollers. I found uh, just the Teflon sliders work fine. It's easy enough to pull it off backwards. Can use rollers if you want. You can use your ladder racks too, if you have a dual cab ute with a tray on it. It's probably only 50 kilos sitting on this, this back half and 50 on the front, so it doesn't take much load. I've made this quite a fair bit higher than the roof, just due to having some clearance under there. So when it come, does come down, it doesn't hit the, uh, the rhino racks over there. All right, so what I've done with the uh, winch rope is I've just put a permanent pen marker on it at the uh, set length I need to get it off. Line that up with a point on your bull bar somewhere. Hey Dad. Yeah. Grab the marshmallow. G'day, I'm gonna give Dad a hand. Yeah, it is a two-person job due to not having a uh, wireless remote on this winch. 
So you could do it one person with a wireless remote. Probably takes us about 45 minutes to get it unloaded and motor on, petrol in and set up, ready to go boating, pretty much. So, loading it back up, pretty much all in reverse, so I'll mark the winch rope, how far I need to go back, just so I don't have to keep guessing it. Right, we'll head around the back now and uh, put the hangers on. Good buddy, leave it there. So our tinny is 3.8 meters, probably at the longer end of the scale. <laughs> probably at the longer end of the scale. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna do that again? It's, it's probably as long as you wanna go for a rooftop tinny. Is it any longer, um, the tipping point gets higher and higher and um, there is a point where it just wants to free fall. What? And this particular one has a little bit of free fall in it, but yeah, there's enough weight if you hold it to stop it from free falling. Let us know what you think. Any uh, any comments or any tips and tricks that you recommend for uh, these setups?